Welcome to settings. If you've ever been ignoring this part of the interface, stop doing that because you can find a lot for yourself in here. We won't be covering every toggle under the sun, we would like to draw your attention to the most frequently asked questions. General. Switch on and off the CPB for this product, enable up to 6 views, edit the layout, card image, currency, make all the custom options collapsible, display or hide the title or your product description. Make your customer sign the agreement checkbox or set minimum and maximum quantity settings for your product. Card properties. We're often asked things like, is there a way to hide all this info about config ID or a product URL, so here is the answer. You just have to add an underscore in here. Duplicate panels to other custom products. You love it if you have a dozen of products of a similar architecture. So it technically copies the whole step from one product and inserts it into another with all its layers. Here's another trick that is hard to find. You can import or export each product's data using JSON files. This feature will make your life easier if you need to copy the product from one store to another. Render control panel. If you need all the media from the Shopify product page to be shown as a carousel below or to the left of the preview, set the thumbnail slider value to horizontal or vertical and switch on these toggles. Here you can also find some render customizations that can be applied to various browsers in order to increase or decrease the quality, depending on your needs. Default options. Want a particular option to be pre-selected when the product first loads? Pick the option and click on a plus button. Add to cart mode. We offer two ways to add a product to a cart. Auto-generated variants and newly created products with a CPB order type, which are formed to depict a custom product image in the checkout. Properties are added to a product description. You can either hide them via CSS code or delete them completely in here or via global settings. Pre-generated price variants are based on a possible price. It will work for you if you prefer not to generate new products for each price. Inside products will have the product type of CPB variants. Another reminder that CPB ordered and CPB variants products will appear in the collection pages and search results if nothing is done about that. SKU management. Discover bundle mode which allows your customer to form a card out of each option selected. It's quite handy when the details play a role. Inventory. The CPB app doesn't include its own inventory, instead the inventory is tracked and deducted directly from Shopify, so all you need is to enable it. All SKUs need to be updated once you have made any changes in the Shopify product page settings, like track quantity or continue selling when out of stock settings to be more precise. Combined SKU management is useful when you require a unique SKU which consists of all options selected. Such compound SKU type can be of use for inventory tracking or product fulfillment. The order is defined by the constructor. Custom JS. If you need to add custom JS snippets, you can do it right here. Font manager is needed to set a pack of fonts that you want to apply in this particular product. Custom fonts are added in the global settings. <laughs>